Evans made another one. Uh, I ain't holding no grudge, yeah. Uh, you cry me one, but you won't do it again. I ain't holding no grudge, yeah. Uh, I gotta win. I'm trying to make my family proud. Fell off on a deep end, watch me say. I'm so tired of being tired, I can't even think. Fell off on a deep end, watch me say. I'm so tired of being tired, I can't even think. Do you mind if I uh, take your picture, man? You better not. That's okay. Okay. How about you? <laughs> All right. Okay. See your name first. Okay. My name is Nico. I'm from New Jersey. I'm from New Jersey. Alright. So go ahead with your story, Nico. So my cousin just told me last. Well, this is something I knew. So obviously, you know, Spain conquered the Philippines. Mm -hmm. But both my grandparents were born and raised in the Philippines. But my grandpa is straight up white dude. So your grandpa? My grandfather, yeah. But so, not this American. I'm not American, but I'm saying his Spanish. complexion. His complexion. Yeah, yeah Spanish, yeah. yeah. Spanish, right? Yeah. So so my last name is also Aronson. Not really a very Filipino last name. No. <laughs> so Aronson. Right? Yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Dude. So, so um, last night my cousin tried to tell me that we don't have any Filipino blood in us. Our all of our blood is Spanish blood. Uh -huh. But the story was that my gra my grandpa was mestizo, right? So that's uh -huh. Spanish and uh -huh. Filipino, Filipino uh -huh. right? Yeah. And my grand my grandma was full Filipino. And my grandpa had the uh, mango farm, and um, his family had the mango farm. In 600 feet, and, keep uh, right at the fork, follow signs for Honolulu. And they got married, they, he was the second brother, so he wasn't really, he was the worker. Uh -huh. So he, he, he wanted to make his own for himself. Keep right at the fork. So he moved and took his family to San Francisco. And then, you know, my whole life I was born, you know, Continue for two miles. I was with my grandparents, my grandma, and my grandpa would come from uh, San Francisco. Uh, they lived in the Philippines for a while. They lived in Hawaii for a long time. Oh yeah? Yeah. You, you, grandma? My grandma and grandpa, yeah. Where in Hawaii? Over here, where my cousins live. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so, when, um, what was I saying? Whenever I was with them, like, our culture was not, you know, Spanish, we're Filipino. Filipino, yeah. But now my cousin's trying to tell me that we don't have any Filipino <laughs> So Yeah, how about your grandma? My grandma was up as Filipino as they come. Yeah, and yeah. they all speak, you know, Tagalog. Uh, yeah, and from the Philippines. So culturally, I guess <coughs> we're, we're Filipino, but now if I did that ancestry, whatever test, uh -huh. I wonder where my blood would be. What is it that makes up for Philippines? Yeah. The United Nations. Yeah, but... Your grandma still lives in Hawaii? No, my grandma lives in Samoa now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How did she get... Because <laughs> my... Um, her daughter, my aunt... Um, married... Is, I'm going to see mother right now. Um, married to uh, Samoa. Married to Samoa, yeah. And... Oh. Um, they were living all separate. The whole family was all over the West Coast, right? Um, uh -huh. San Francisco. And now my grandma's getting older, we gotta take care of her. They were just in Hawaii before they were in Samoa. Before they moved to Samoa, they were in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. But it's just easier to take care of her, you know, over there. In yeah. Samoa? In Samoa, yeah. Than here? Than here. Cheaper, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. You get the care that you need. How old is your grandma? Oh. 
Yeah, you have blood, blood but uh, you're mixed, yeah? Yeah. Because in the Philippines... And then my mom is full, 100% Italian. My grandparents, born and raised in New Jersey, but their parents were, came over on the, on the boat. Oh. Came through Ellis Island. Ellis Island. Because in the Philippines, you know, there's a lot of Spanish uh, born and raised there, but their parents were Spanish, like my cousin in Maui. Uh -huh. Oh, my friend in Maui. You know, all the cousin of Sarah, they live in Spain. But they're Filipino, but the last name is, even the husband, Ilera, is Spanish. Yeah, like my cousin's last name is Cruz. Yeah, that's they're Spanish. they're Filipino, you know? Uh -huh. That's uh, interesting. Yeah, but if you look at uh, this couple, they look like, uh, you know, white people. Uh, In a quarter mile, continue on Interstate H1 East. I would say, I don't I don't look Filipino, I don't think, but I know. No, you don't. I definitely uh, have, a, have a unique look, but my, uh, my uncles, they look Filipino for sure. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> my uncle B-Boy, you know, my uncle uh, Mark. Arthur. They both look really good. And they My dad kind of looks a little bit. Yeah. I mean, you really wouldn't be able to tell, though. You just maybe. Yeah, but most of the basketball player, they're a mix of uh, something. Yeah. That's why they're tall. My cousin yeah. actually plays on the national rugby team. Oh yeah. Filipino national rugby. Yeah. You see, they're Filipino, and then uh, your dad is six four, man. That's he could have been a basketball player back home. <laughs> No, you put a, you know, basketball tall is my thing. Yeah. He's a big man. He's huge. You know, when he was young, I'm sure he was not that big. Oh, yeah. He was just tall, but, uh, you know. I remember going to that water park when I was, like, 10 oh. years old. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So you've been coming here with you, seeing your grandma there? Yeah, my, my whole family. I mean, I, I, when, when my grandma lived here, uh, her daughter and my aunt and then her other son, and the only one that wasn't here, Family with my dad. Oh yeah? Yeah, the whole family was here. Oh. So what uh, what business your dad is doing now? So right now, um, he has one bagel store. Bagel. Uh, bagel store, yeah, bagel. You know bagel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and eat then, that. And then, uh, Very good. and then, uh, me and him and my brother are partners in a restaurant. Oh yeah? And then uh, now we're opening up a coffee shop too. Wow, you guys are business entrepreneurs, yeah? Yeah. Coffee shop, man, man, include my uh, product right here. You got product? What do you got? Yeah. I want, I want to get the Kona. You got the Kona? Oh, this one is mixed. Uh, give it, call me now and I'll fix you the information about this. Why you should incorporate that for healthy choice of your customer. What is it? You know, this is terahertz technology, terahertz water. You, when you drink this water, because it's tiny, tiny molecules, no more cluster, it goes right through your cell. So when the water goes there, it cleans you up. All the uh, toxin, you know. It's real water, it doesn't have all that thing. You know, you, you treat the water for three minutes. The water is really totally hydrating. It goes into the cell. That's the new, that's the new fad right there. Yes sir, nice sir. This came from uh, Malaysia. I yeah. just got it last week. And I've been treating water to all my friends. That's why I have a lot of jug of the bag. If you offer this as your, uh, you know, alternative water at the store, I think it's going to click down. Terahertz water. What's the called? Terahertz. T, E, P as in Tom, E as in uh, Edward. R A Hertz, it's E R P Z. Terahertz. Te terahertz. Terahertz water. The functional water we call it. The functional. The functional water. What do you do YouTube for? Just you just. Yeah, I, uh, you know I should uh, side sometimes. Like me, I'm interviewing you know. So on my segment, I say I will say Italian, uh, Filipino, Italian, <laughs> New Jersey. Visiting Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what the name of the segment. So you follow me up on my YouTube. Yeah. Right here. 
I went to printing shop, but they don't make the thing. That's you know, stupid. You, you only do YouTube or you do other stuff? Right? No, I will be doing the TikTok. You gotta do TikTok. Yeah, yeah also the Herd, I got uh, Asta. Yeah, of course, I, I will give you now the... Here, what's your name? No, the YouTube channel, Tito Jojo, T-I-T-O. Tito Jojo. Knows Hawaii. <laughs> there they go. Yeah, I will put the segment uh, Monday. Nico, the Italian Filipino from New Jersey, <laughs> visiting Hawaii. You know, searching for his roots. <laughs> yeah. Right when I landed, my head texted me, "Welcome home." Hey. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Your aunt? My aunt. Yeah, she's in Samoa with my uh, with my grandma. So did you plan it, Nico? My uh, channel. Tito Jojo, one no, word? No, no, simply Tito, simply word. Jojo, J O J O. Knows a lot. And I cheer driver. You got it? Yeah, subscribe, Nico, and I will. Uh, Release the segment on, on uh, Monday or Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday, because tomorrow is Monday. Yeah? My uh, my editor is in the Philippines. What about you? You're pure Italian? Me? No, Puerto Rican and Cuban. Oh, okay, another combination. Where we live is right outside of New York City. Really? Yeah. Man, you're gonna be a millionaire, you think, If you are going, if you're doing all this business, me, I am trying to go, my son will start doing Uber today. Uh -huh. He's 21. Nice. But my plan is to, uh, to uh, get one or two more cars, used car, for Toro, Toro, you know? Yeah. Last week, or three weeks, or for the last month, the car